Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about c -sharp coding standards and some best practices associated with it. I have experienced most developers do not follow the coding standard and it makes little difficult to read the code and maintain it further. So in this video, we'll have a glance at c -sharp coding standard and its best practices. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Coding standard convention in Shisha. What is coding standard? Coding standard is a set of guidelines that help us in the following. Consistent look and feel of the code. Enable readers to understand easily. Easy maintainability of the code. Right? Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn about Pascal case naming convention, KML case naming convention, layout convention, commenting convention, best practices of coding standard as a part of the coding standard convention in C sharp. Okay, so before jumping on the Pascal case naming convention or camel case naming convention, we first know what is Pascal case and what is camel case. So what is Pascal case? Pascal case is a naming convention where the first letter of each word in a compound word in a variable is a capitalized. Okay, if you see the example permanent address, it is a compound word and first letter of each word is a capital letter that is P of permanent and A of address are capital letters that are marked as bold. Similarly for Pascal case compound word, here P is a capital and case C is a capital. So that's the way how we write the Pascal case. Okay, now what is camel case? Camel case is a naming convention where the first letter of each word in a compound word is a capitalized except for the first word. That's what if you see the examples over here is valid. So V is a capital over here. Camel case here C is a capital one. Right. Okay. And if you see the image of the camel capital C letter of the compound word camel case indicates hump of the camel. I just added this image for remembering the camel case meaning. Okay. I am sure many of you had confusion about Pascal case and camel case way of writing, right? So anyway, now you won't forget it at your lifetime. Pascal case naming convention in Shisha. Here we are going to learn about huge cases of Pascal case naming convention in Shisha. Number one, huge Pascal casing for class struct and record names. For example, if you see public class data service, so if you see data service, that is the class name, it is written in the Pascal casing convention, right? Similarly for the struct, value coordinate, so value V is a capital and cap C is a capital of the coordinate, right? So it is written in Pascal case. Similarly for the permanent address, so P is a capital and A is a capital of the address word. So that's how we use Pascal casing for class struct and record names. Number two. Use Pascal casing when naming public members of type, for example, fields, properties, events, method, and local function. Okay, let's see the examples on over here. There is a class my events. Inside that, there is a public field. Public bool is valid. And if, if you notice is valid, it is written in the Pascal case. And similarly for the init only properties. Here is a init only properties, public i my q my q get init, right? So if you see this my q, it is also written in a Pascal case. Public event action event processing. Now for the event also, this is the event processing name. That is the event, event processing name. It is also written in the Pascal case. Similarly for the method name, public void start event process, right? So basically a start event process is a method name, which is also written in the Pascal case. Similarly for the local function, a static int count q items. So here is count q items. It is also written in a Pascal casing. So that's what use Pascal casing when naming public members of the type. So if you notice all these are the public members fields, whether it's a field properties, events, method and local function. So wherever we are going to write public members of any type. So we need to use this Pascal casing. Okay. Number three, use Pascal casing with prefix and I for an interface name. So whenever we are going to write any interface, we need to prefix with the I and then after that letter, we need to use the Pascal casing. So if you if you notice over here, I imply I is the capital one and imply which is written in the Pascal casing because imply is a one word only. So that's what E is a capital letter over here. So that's what public interface I imply. And this is the way how we are going to write interface with the help of Pascal casing, right? Camel case naming convention in C sharp. Okay, so here we are going to see the huge cases of the camel case naming convention in C sharp. Number one. Use camel casing for method parameter. If you see the examples on over, there is a method print data that accepts two input parameters, int student ID and the string first name. 
And if you notice a student ID and the first name which is written into the camel case. So that's how we need to write method parameters in camel caching. Number two, use camel casing when naming private or internal fields and prefix them with underscore. So there is a class data service inside that we do have one private field that is the is valid. And if you notice is valid we have written into the camel case and it starts with the underscore. So that's how we write the private or internal fields. Number three, use camel casing for private or internal static fields with s underscore prefix and for thread static use t underscore prefix. So if you see the examples of there is a class my class that has one private static field and if you see I have written with the s underscore count. So it is written in the camel casing but prefix with the s underscore. So that's how we need to write private static field. There is a thread static time span right so private static time span and we need to write t underscore time span because time span we have written into the camel casing and we need to prefix with the t underscore that's how we write thread static in the camel casing with the t underscore prefix layout conventions what is layout convention so here we are going to see the uses of the layout convention in c sharp number one do write only one declaration per line so basically we need to write the declaration one declaration per line second do write only one statement per line similarly we need to write one statement per line number three first line should have one tab stop that is the four spaces at the starting point so whenever we are going to write first line we need to just use one tab so that it will give you four spaces at the starting point. Number four, add at least one blank line between method definitions and property definition. So we need to follow this layout convention. Number five, use parentheses to make clauses in an expression understandable. If you see the example shown over here, if a greater than b and a greater than c. So a greater than b we need to write between the parentheses. Similarly, a greater than c we need to write between the parentheses. So it will give clear understanding what the meaning for that. Okay, number six for better code indentation and readability, always align the curly braces vertically. If you see these examples, this is the opening curly braces and this is the closing curly braces. So it should be vertically match. That's what this statement says. Number seven, use the default code editor settings for indentation, line spacing, wrapping. So you can see what is the default code editor settings. You just need to go to the Visual Studio, go to Tools option, and then you can find it the text editor. So there you will be getting list of you know settings for the indentation, line spacing, wrapping, and all those things. Commenting conventions. What is commenting convention in C sharp? Number one, write the comment on a separate line, not at the end of a line of a code. Number two, begin comment text with an uppercase letter. Number three, end comment text with a period period is nothing but the dot number four insert one space between the comment delimiter this is the comment delimiter and the comment text so basically we need to give one between the comment delimiter and the comment text so these are the guidelines we need to follow as a part of the commenting when we are going to do in the c sharp best practices of c sharp coding standards so here we are going to discuss about the best practices of c sharp coding standards number one Use a string interpolation to concatenate a sort strings and a string builder for appending a strings in loop. So whenever we are going to concatenate sort strings, we need to use a string interpolation. So that's what if you see a string full name, this is the uh, a string interpolation mark push, uh, dollar sign equal. And then we need to write the curly braces a student dot first name a student dot last name. This is how we need to write a string interpolation whenever we are going to concatenate sort strings. OK, and a string builder whenever we do have looping and we want to you know append the strings in loop then we can go for the string builder number two don't use where when the type is not apparent from the right side of the assignment instead use a specific type that's what if you see the examples on over here i have used int as a specific type because this statement convert dot to in 32 console dot right line it is not apparent what is the type that we are going to get it even though that we are going to use the method but it is not apparent from this statement what type we are going to get it that's what we need to use this specific type that's what i have written int data one is equal to convert dot two in 32 console dot read line number three use where when you want compile time type inference number four use dynamic when you want runtime type inference 
नंबर फाइव यूज द कंसाइज सिंटेक्स वेन यू इनिशलाइज एर इज ऑन द डिक्लेशन लाइन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज दिंग एर ए वॉवेल्स इज ओकल टू करली ब्रेसिस ए आई ओ यू दीज आर दॉवेल्स वी हैव रिटर्न इंस्टीड ऑफ राइटिंग यू नो होल स्टेटमेंट लाइक दिस स्ट्रिंग एर ए वॉवेल्स इज ओकल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग एर ए एंड देन वी नीड टू गिव दिस वैल्यू इंस्टीड ऑफ दैट वी कुड राइट सिंपली दिस इज दैट इज द कंसाइज सिंटेक्स वेन वी आर गोइंग टू इनिशलाइज एर इज ऑन द डिक्लेशन लाइन इट सेल्फ here we need to write like this only okay use one of the concise form of the object instantiation so whenever we are going to instantiate any object we need to write the new operator right so for that either we can go where instance one is equal to new imply so here if you see i have not written imply over here and when we are planning to use imply then we can remove this imply from the right hand side so that's what we need to write imply instance 2 is equal to new so either way either concise form we can use it for the object instantiation now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw what the coding standard or convention learned about the basics of pascal case and camel case and then learned about what the uses of the pascal case naming convention camel case naming convention then we talked about commenting conventions and layout convention and finally we discussed about the best practices of c sharp coding standards guys it's a very basic topic but very important one kindly pay attention on the naming convention whenever you write the code so most of the projects use their customized c sharp coding standards important thing is you need to adhere it if there is no coding standards available for your project you take initiative and write the coding standard document and circulate with the team members and follow the same it will help you to maintain consistent look and feel of the code and help other developers to read easily and understandable that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video